So hello friends, once again welcome back in our video series of C programming by Tech Booster. So friends here in this video, we will understand pointer to function, that is how to point a function. So this is our syntax, but before moving into syntax, let me just open my code block and consider an example to explain this particular topic. So this is my code block and here first of all, I will create to define function and I will call those functions in our normal way of calling a function. So first of all, I need to start with my header file, include stdio.h. Now we will have our main function. Now here within this main function, before writing my contents, let me create my function. So here I will create two functions, one to add two defined numbers and the other will be to multiply three defined numbers. So here I will start with my function of type int add and int a int b. So these are two variables. Now here I will just return a plus b. So here in this case as I am returning an integer that is the reason the type of this particular function is int. So again let me consider another function multiply, multiply and here I will consider three different integers int a, int b and int c. So I have considered three different integers and here I will return a into a into b into c. So again here in this case as I am returning an integer that is the reason the type of this particular function is your int. Now here I need to declare my function. So let me declare it as int add int comma int and int multiply int comma int comma int. So here in this case I have three defined arguments. So now once we are done we can directly call these two function here within my main function. So here let me directly write add let me consider two numbers 10 comma 20 and here as I am returning this particular output so I need to consider another variable here. So let me consider it to be int a equals to add. So I am storing my output in this integer a. So once we are done with this add function, let me consider another variable m and let me store the output of my multiply function. Multiply. Multiply. Let me multiply three numbers 2 comma 3 comma 5. So once we are done, let me print my output. Print addition is percentage d then let me use a tab space multiplication is multiplication is percentage d okay so we are done so first of all i'll print a and then i'll print m so we are done with this one now I'll just use my return function, return 0. Now here in this case, if I run this particular code, we'll have our output. My first output will be your 30 and second one will be your, okay, so in my second case, even I'm getting 30. So let me just change this one. Let me make it 4. So here in this case, my output will be 40. So once you run this one, you can see addition is 30, multiplication is 40. So this is my output where I have created to define function and I have called it in normal way. Now we will use the concept of pointer to function to call any of these particular functions. So here in order to use this particular concept now we need to understand the syntax. So here this is our syntax. So first of all we need to consider the data type. So here in this case, my data type will be int because I will be working with int type of function. Then here you need to consider this pointer and then name of the pointer within this parenthesis. Since parenthesis is very important, you need to use this parenthesis and then you need to use your arguments here. 
like how many arguments you will be considering here depending on the particular function whom you are pointing so here in this case i will be using this one within this main function so let me just consider int pointer ptr and then here in this case if i want to point to this add function here i have two parameters or two arguments so i need to use int comma int but as i am considering two argument here this particular pointer ptr will not be able to point to this particular multiply function because here in this case i have three arguments so this is very important you need to be careful with this one now how to use this one so i have this one now here in this case let me uh, consider ptr equals to and add so here i am pointing to the address of this add function i am pointing to the address of this add function now once you have this one directly i can store my output let me consider another variable c to store my output this function add and here instead of using add what i can use i can use ptr i can use ptr and then my parameters like here if i want to add two numbers 5 comma 5 so i am done with this one now i can directly print this output as well so let me just print print f output of pointer to function is percentage d slash n now here what i will do i'll just use c so guys i am done now if i run this one i will have my output 10 here and then we'll run these two function add and multiply so once you run this one so here you can see output of pointer to function is 10 so here what i am doing i am pointing to my function add by this particular method but here in this case if i consider multiply instead of this point add let me consider multiply now if you run this one here in this case you can see you will have some garbage value you will have some garbage value but once you consider another argument here if i consider another argument here int and now if i consider another parameter here like let it be your 5 5 and 2 so here my output will be 50 now if you run this one you can see your output here will be now 50 output of pointer to function is 50 so guys this is our concept of pointer to function i hope your this particular concept is clear and once you are done with this particular video you can move forward towards your next video so guys i will see you in my next video till then goodbye take care and practice